not supposed to be doing this. Oh, he's going right towards the building. Watch out. Oh my god. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Anton. Welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR Police Mod video. Today we are out here by the airport for a little bit of an airport security patrol. We're going to check out some of the callouts from the airport callouts pack created by Jesse X. And the vehicle we're using today is a really awesome car. It's a Nissan GTR. How more awesome can it get? Fantastic looking Nissan GTR. You can see it right here. We got it in the LSIA, the Los Santos International Airport, airport security livery on it, and the lights. I actually like it from the back because I think the lights on the back look re re really, really awesome. Now, technically, this is not an ELS car, but I kind of played around with the files and I've been able to make it work with ELS. So that looks all pretty cool. Let's get out uh, here into the airport, onto the airport grounds and see what's going on. The sun is coming down here in Los Santos. Lots of international flights getting out, of course. So we're going to be keeping an eye out for anything suspicious, curbside, luggage that's not supposed to be there. We have a wild animal on... Okay, um, uh, I guess we got a wild animal on airport grounds. Respond code 3. Uh, roger that, dispatch LS02 responding code 3. All right, let's go ahead and light up this way. So we have ourselves a animal, I believe, up there on the runway somewhere. So let's go take a look because that is a very dangerous situation, of course. All right, let me just make my way here through traffic. Very dangerous situation with an animal being on an active runway, especially with all of those big international flights going out. Hey, my man, what's going on? Let me in. I'm here to respond to a call. <laughs> He's not going to raise the gate, is he? All right, well, I'll just go under it then. Fine, if you don't want to let me in, I'm coming in. Got an animal out here somewhere. Uh, Los Santos ground. Uh, this is LS02 entering the airport uh, tarmac. We're going to be on our way to investigate this animal, wild animal call. So it looks like it's right on the runway, and I do believe... There is an active runway right here. Let's go ahead and cross the runway. Make sure there's nobody coming in to land. Oh, look at that. The sun is coming down. All right. All, all looks good over here. It looks good over here. Let's go ahead and cross the runway. Got to be extra safe. Actually, I'm going to go this way right here. All right. Looking for a wild animal. I'm not seeing anything yet. Uh, looks like it is straight on the runway here. Yep. I see something right there. Yep. We got something. We got like a... Um, it's like a coyote or a fox or something like that. All right. Uh, we do have an aircraft coming in, though. So watch this. This could be very dangerous now. The animal is off the runway at this point. But we do have a big aircraft right there landing. So this is why it's so important to make sure that these animals do not get on the runways. But you can see there the aircraft I think is going to be okay. It's actually right here, right next to us. All right. Let me see if I can... What do I do to... What do I do with this thing? Subdue the animal. How are you supposed to subdue it? I got a gun. I, I guess I can shoot it. I'd rather not shoot it. I wonder if we can get animal services out here. Uh, dispatch. Uh, LS02 requesting animal control. Let's see if I can tase it in the meantime. Yeah, don't go anywhere. It's like a wolf, coyote type of... I mean, if it's a wolf, it's gonna come after me. It's definitely not a dog. Oh, no. It's, now it's running. Now it's running. Okay, we're waiting for the animal control services to show up. Looks like they're coming right there. All right, my man, he's right here. All right, he's going to shoot him with a dart gun. Yep, you got him. There we go. Animal services came in here, shot him with the dart gun. They're going to clean him up, put him into the back of the truck, take him over to the uh, shelter off the airport grounds, and then th they will probably end up releasing him into the wild. So... That's good. At least we can now we can now call this one. It's a good call, and we'll we'll get back on patrol here. So that's good. That's the animal is gonna go. It's gonna be alive, and we're gonna head back here to uh, to continue our patrol. Uh, dispatch uh, LS02, go ahead and show me clear. I'm gonna be uh, leaving the tarmac here and uh, going back on patrol. So I've been keeping an eye on out on this taxi. This taxi, you can see he's like swerving. He's all over the place. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pull him over and probably get airport police involved. Except we got an emergency landing. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and respond to that. Uh, Roger that, dispatch. L02 responding, code 3. We got an aircraft coming in on visual approach runway 15 for an emergency landing. We got, I think, multiple units responding here. Let's go ahead and get over there as quickly as we can. This could be a very dangerous situation, especially with the aircraft like that in distress. Yeah, I hear lots of sirens here responding to this runway. Okay, let's take a look here, see where we need to go. Right over here. Yeah, we got uh, firefighters ready to go. Okay, we're just waiting for the plane to come in now. Okay, two souls on board. All right, we're gonna follow the first responders. Okay, following the first responders here. Down to this end of the airport. I'm not quite sure which runway they're gonna be coming in on, but right now, looks like we are responding to this end of the airfield. Okay, I believe the fire department is behind us. Yeah, we got fire trucks and ambulances behind us right now. Okay, just coming in around this way right here. I'm basically at this point providing like a, a basically escort to these guys. I'm not quite sure where we're going. <laughs> I have to say, uh, I guess they're just finding a road here. Because I was like, where are these guys going? All right, I think we're responding to the other side of the airport there to that runway where we basically where we just were to clean up that animal situation that is where we are heading by the looks of it here so i'm going to continue with these officers uh or not where are we going i don't i don't understand why are we leaving the airport i thought what is going on okay where's the other guys Oh, there they come. Why are we leaving the airport? I don't understand why we're leaving the airport. What is happening here? As I smash into that gate. Okay. Let's go ahead and go this way. I'm not quite sure what's going on right now. I, I don't understand why we left the airport grounds. And now we're heading on to the freeway. Did the aircraft crash? Is that what happened? Oh my goodness, is that is that what's going on? Did the aircraft, I think the aircraft might have crashed prior to arriving here in Los Santos International. So, okay, I'm just gonna follow the officers here. I think they know where they're going, except maybe not. They just smashed into the back of this bus. Uh, we sort of lost the first responders behind us, but I am trying to respond here with these officers as this one continues to just smash into this bus constantly. All right, can we get around the bus? Oh, watch out. <laughs> oh my God, there we go, he got around the bus. All right, we are, we're on our way somewhere. I'm not sure where we are going. Oh my goodness, just took out that guy. Oh man, these guys are out of control, these cops. Completely out of control. No, I gotta keep my lights on. There we go, pressed the wrong button there, turned out my lights. All right, where are we going? Where are? Why is he turning around? <laughs> what is happening? Why are we going this way? Okay. <laughs> this is... This is... Now I'm curious. Now I just want to know what's happening. So clearly the aircraft did not make it... <laughs> to the... To the airport. We're now down here by the... By the... Basically the water runoff. And I'm not sure where we are heading to. We lost the first responders. They are way behind us. I'm here with these two officers. I don't even know if the other officers are still out behind us or not. Now I'm just curious as to where we're going. Yeah, what are you going to do now? That's it. It's the end of the road, my friend. Okay, he's going this way. Oh, there they are. I see the aircraft. Okay, looks like the aircraft has come down right here. So they just... How did they even manage to land over here? Oh my god. <laughs> As that pop slides right under that that aircraft. Alright, let me back up here. So basically only two of us made it. <laughs> well that's interesting. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, how did they manage to come down right over here? That is quite the landing. They clearly did not make it to the runway. They just came down short of the runway. US Air Force. Hello, anybody in here? 
Yep, we got two pilots in here. You guys all right? All right, looks like the other officer showing up on scene. And then I hope the first responders are there somewhere. Whoa! My goodness, that officer just arrived in style. Don't run me down, officer. Stop hitting everybody. <laughs> what a disaster. I think this call out needs a little bit of work. Just a little bit of work. It's kind of turning into a disaster at this point. There comes the first responders. Oh, smashing into my car. I was gonna say almost smashing into my vehicle. No, 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 he smashed into my car. He did, all right, so fire department is here. The ambulance is here. What's he doing? Oh, oh, stop, stop. <laughs> oh my God, what is the aircraft doing? My goodness, what is going on? Okay, I think there were some more fire trucks. We lost them. But no one is actually doing anything. So all of these guys arrive. The sirens are blaring. But no one is actually doing anything. No one is actually getting out of their cars. They're not... They're not actually helping the pilots or the passengers, for that matter. And I'm not sure if maybe we're supposed to wait for the other first responders to arrive because there were more fire trucks and there was, I think, another ambulance. So I'm not sure if they're supposed to get here and then maybe something happens, but yeah, I definitely think that this call needs a little bit of work for sure, but I like the premise of it. I wonder if I can pull these guys out. I do like the premise of it. A aircraft coming in for an emergency landing, but... I think the call-out needs a little bit of work. Yeah, there's not much I can do around here, so... Okay, well, I guess we're gonna let these guys, the first responders, figure it out. I gotta get out of here before my ear <laughs> is blown. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to the airport. These guys can figure out the situation and we'll be, I guess, code four. Okay, we're back at the airport. Yeah, that was a cool call in a sense of, I like the premise, aircraft in distress coming in, but... I think it needs just a little bit more work on that call out. We have a, a dangerous plane spotter. In Interesting. Let's go ahead and take that call. We got a call from uh, a Los Santos ATC that a plane spotter is dangerously close to the airport. All right, let's go investigate this. This is interesting. So plane spotters obviously are the people that go out to the airport. I myself have been a plane spotter. I love planes. So we basically go out to the airport and look at the aircraft coming in. Usually you take pictures or you might even have a radio with you to listen to all the aircraft coming in there. So I think he's actually gonna be right here on what is technically airport grounds, I think. I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna be on the other side of the fence or not. Let's go check it out. We're gonna enter the airport grounds yet again. Uh, this time the, around the security guard is not here so I'm just gonna come right through the gate. And then let's go see if we can, if we can find that person here. Uh, Los Angeles ground, LS-02, entering the tarmac again here to contact that plane spotter. All right, let's take a look here. I'm gonna stay right here on this road. So that way we don't interfere with the active runway. We do have a fence around the airport, but I don't know if this guy is on airport property, like if he actually was able to somehow climb over the fence or maybe through the fence, or if he's down here somewhere. Let's take a look here. I think he might be on the other side of the fence. Yeah, I think he's down here somewhere, but he's on the other side of the fence. Yep, there he is. Got him. All right, yeah, he's a little bit close here. There's a, there's a gate here, but he's definitely a little bit close. Hello there, sir. Oh, he's Call running, he's running. He's running. <laughs> sir, come back over here. Sir, come back here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get the police involved. Looks like he is running. All right, I'm gonna get my taser out here. Let's get him. Let's get him. I'm not sure why he's running. So at this point, this could be, I mean, it could be a terrorist for all we know. Sir, Los Santos Airport Security, come back over here, man. Don't run. You got nowhere to go, man. You got nowhere to go. All right, I'm going to have to request some backup, I think. If I can catch up to him, let's see here what he does. As long as he stays on this side of the fence, that's okay. Uh, but let's see if I can get him right here. He's right on. This is technically all airport property. He's not supposed to be back here. Got him. Got him. Sir, get your hands up, man. I'm going to have to tease you again. Get your hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up, get, get on the ground. the ground. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground. All right, there we go. Stay right there. Keep your hands where I can see them, okay? Uh, dispatch LS-02. I'm gonna have one suspect in custody. I wonder if I can talk to him at all. 
He just took off as soon as he saw me, but I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I can't say anything to him. Yeah, I'm getting a strong odor of alcohol off his breath. All right, let me go ahead and get him back to the vehicle. Then we're gonna get him out of the, um, here, out of this airport area. And then we're gonna get the police involved, so that way they can investigate and do whatever they need to do. But I think he's definitely gonna be going to jail tonight. So let me go back here to my car, and then we'll make our way back out to the, to the holding area. Okay, officer. Yeah, so he was down on the airport grounds. If I can go ahead and get you to maybe do a breathalyzer test, because I do smell a little bit of alcohol there coming off his off his breath there. He looks all to be confused and stuff. So we got the police here. They're going to go ahead and do their tests right now, search the suspect, and maybe we'll try to get a better idea. Yeah, you can see he is drunk. So maybe that is the reason why he decided to come out to the airport today and thought, hey, you know what? I had a little bit of alcohol. I'm gonna go ahead and check out some planes. So we'll get this officer here to search him. And then they're gonna take him off to jail and we'll be back on our security patrol here in Los Santos International. Yeah, nothing but a pair of Nike shoes. So I think this guy is harmless. He just got a few drinks there in him and thought, hey, let's go check out some of those big jets coming in today. So there we go. Officer, if you can pick me, uh, pick him up, I'd appreciate that. And let's see here. Let's see if you can get him. There we go. He's going to grab him, put him into the back of his cruiser, and uh, we'll be called for on this uh, dangerous plane spotter situation and back on patrol. We have a... Oh, that's a serious situation. Uh, Roger that dispatch, LS02 responding code 3. We got private aircraft that is about to be stolen here in Los Angeles International. So we're going to go ahead and respond code 3. Looks like coming back uh, onto the airport grounds. Let's take a look here. Right there is our entrance. Alright, already very familiar here with this route. I'm just going to smash right through the gate. Uh, suspect does not have a license, so it looks like he does not have a private pilot's license. I believe there's the aircraft in question that he might be trying to take. Let's see here. I don't know if he's inside the aircraft. Yeah, he's inside the aircraft. He's going for it. He's going for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's got the aircraft moving. Oh my goodness. Uh, Los Santos ground. We got a suspect trying to take off. I don't know what he's doing. He's not supposed to be doing this. Oh, he's going right towards the building. Watch out. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. He hit the building. He hit the building. All right, we're going to come back right here. Watch out, watch out, watch out. This is so dangerous, so dangerous. I thought he was going to explode. thought he was going to blow up here. Let's see if I can get him out of this aircraft. No, no, he's trying to go. He's trying to go for it. Oh, boy, watch out, watch out. Yeah, we're going to need, yeah, we need, we need, we need people over here. We need people. We got engines on fire. He's coming out. He's coming out. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Get your hands up. He's running. He's gonna be on foot. He's gonna be on foot. We got uh, all sorts of units responding here. I'm gonna try to stun him right here. All right. Let's go. Let's go get him right there. We got airport security coming out. We got police coming out. We got everybody coming out. Get your hands up, man. Hands up. Hands up. He's running again. There you go. He's giving up. He's giving up. We got everybody responding. There comes airport security. There comes the cops. We got him. Police there trying to arrest him now forcing him on the ground. What a dangerous situation. Somebody that has no idea how to fly an aircraft attempting to take that aircraft and you can see right there the aircraft is on fire. We do have the officers on scene here. They were able to apprehend the suspect. Now we do have the aircraft on fire. Let's go ahead and get uh, get the fire department over here. Hopefully they'll be able to do something here. Uh, dispatch, uh, we got the engine, aircraft engine on fire requesting uh, Requesting the fire department. Let's get the fire department out here. Watch out everybody. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. This thing blows. It's gonna be a huge explosion. All right, here they come. Okay. I don't know if they're gonna be able to actually put out that engine that's on fire. Oh, maybe. Maybe. They seem to be... They seem to be sort of interested in it. They're just kind of looking at it right now. But the fire department has arrived. Thank you. They're all here. Everything is good. Yeah, it looks like the firefighters there trying to determine how they're going to put this engine out. But we'll leave that up to them. We'll leave that up to the professionals because they obviously know how to deal with the situation. Um, in the meantime, I think we do have our suspect back here. Let me just go back here and check him out. So this is the guy right over here, I think. Yep, there he is. What a great response here by both the 
airport security personnel as well as the police department and the fire department too you can see the fire department there just in the back of the aircraft just checking out this engine uh, i don't think they're actually putting it out but it is pretty cool how they're at least back there and trying to determine exactly what's going on um all right officers if you can go ahead and maybe pat him down there he's <laughs> i love how he's wearing a like a fighter pilot helmet like he was actually gonna go ahead and fly this thing the engine's still on fire over there that's a little bit concerning because if it decides to blow up, that's not going to be a good thing. We got a wallet, and I don't think anything else. Jonathan Edwards there is going to be his name. Uh, let's see if we have anything here in terms of breathalyzer and maybe drugs involved. Trying to find a reason why he decided to take this jet and steal it. And clearly had no idea what he was doing since he drove it right into the building. I'm surprised it didn't explode right away. There you go. Some alcohol is involved. 0.058. That's definitely playing a factor right now drug swap we'll do that as well here by the officer and we'll see here what the officer has to say in terms of drugs uh let's go ahead Thank and you. check that out that is going to come back here as negative so it looks like alcohol is a factor that's the only thing that's happening here with him we're going to go ahead and get this guy to get picked up by one of these cops they are going to transport him and in the meantime we're going to go ahead and I guess work the situation right over here. Yeah, it looks like the fire is still going on. The firefighters are all back there. They just don't know what to do. I don't know if they just can't figure out a way to get up there or what's going on. But they are here and they want to put out that fire. They're just having a little bit of difficulty. So, no, nothing has happened right now. We'll let them be, I guess, and uh, we'll be more or less uh, supervising the situation here from afar at this point just in case something goes wrong. Hey, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you like it. Don't forget to smash that like button. Check out some more videos here on the channel. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.